Okay, so. I hate this. Welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Uh, as I said in my last video in this BeamNG Drive update video, uh, I'm going to be doing some differential testing. So they've added the option in here when you go to vehicle config, uh, rear suspension, and right here, differentials. So they've got a choice of different differentials you can put in. Uh, I think, I know you can put them in these trucks. I think you can put them in, well, there's a lot of different vehicles you can put them in. You can, I think almost put them in everything. But yeah, so I want to do some testing on these to see how much of a difference they actually make in a couple different things. So the first thing we're going to be doing is, this is just my test vehicle here for off-road. This is the full off-road built truck. Um, and we're going to be taking these vehicles over her and we're going to run them through mud pit. See what the different differentials do through the mud pit. And then once we've ran them through the mud pit, which this vehicle being off-road of course does, fine. I'm going to bring them over here, hopefully without crashing them, and run them through a sand test, which I will probably come into them about second gear like this, and then go about halfway and, oh, apparently do a stoppy, that was cool. And then we're going to do pretty much a clutch drop start test and see if they can get out. So, yeah. Oh, okay then. Interesting. Don't try to turn. All right, so we're just going to go like this we're back here. Uh, one problem with this game, I have noticed uh, the more vehicles you have in, which kind of makes sense, uh, this game is very CPU intensive more than graphics card, which is kind of shitty because I'm running a 950 Strix and I'd like it to use the 950 Strix more than it does the CPU. But nonetheless, I think my, my CPU runs around about 80% right now and the graphics card's at 50. So I'd really like it to be different, but whatever, because uh, I'm only getting about 18 frames right now because I have so many vehicles out. I got, what, seven seven vehicles out right now. Uh, and you notice the frame rate drop, but with one vehicle or up to, I think, about three, I usually get still about 60 frames. But nonetheless, um, our truck's back here. The white truck here is just the stock, kind of what you start with truck, minus the fact that I took the four-wheel drive out of it. They're all rear-wheel drive, all stage two engine tuning, all five-speed manuals. The white truck has the open 3.55 diff. Red has the welded 410 diff. Blue has a limited slip 410 diff. Black has the open 410 diff. Orange has the 4.57 heavy duty. And the green has the uh, off-road rear differential like this truck would have in the rear. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how all these trucks do through here. So we will start with the white one. This is the open 355, what you start with. It slides really well, apparently, on dirt. Um, we're gonna stop, do a stop and just start like this. No clutch drop, just a start. And uh, yeah, we'll try to get through here. Probably first gear, I think second gear, they would ball, all ball a little too much, but um, I think they will all make it the fact that they all have the stage 2 engine tuning and it'll help that a lot but uh yeah you know, hopefully we can get this over here without crashing it because it does want to spin a lot with the stage 2 engine tuning but uh yeah we'll come in a second here with 30 and stop and clutch drop first gear Ooh. oh oh it's trying this is where that open diff is not giving even power. I think it'll make it, it's probably gonna make it out. Um, come on, you got this. You got this. Oh yeah, it, it'll just keep crawling out like this. So I'm just gonna take it out the side because I don't feel like driving this whole way. Uh, but it would crawl out because it was consistently moving well. Um, let's do another test on it called the drift test. It does donuts really well. For an open differential, it's spinning both tires really well. I think we just have some kind of dramatic ending for these though. I don't, I don't know. I'll just leave this one here. We'll move on to the next truck. This is the welded 410 diff. And it just, it just, oh god, it just spins. Uh, welded diff, yeah, spins, okay. 
I had to drop the mud pile. It didn't really stop, but that's okay. Oh yeah, this thing's hauling through here. I think this this seems to be hauling through here a little bit better than the open 355, but I don't know. It's hard to tell because they both made it through. But the real test will be when we get it uh, over to the sand. Oh, don't crash it. Please don't crash it. Oh man. It, it, yeah, it just wants to slide. Okay, sand pit test. Coming in at about 30. Oh, it's bogging. Okay, and we'll just do the stop here. Oh, well, the diff grabs up so much better. Oh, that second game might have been a bad idea. I'll just leave her at first. Oh, yeah, she pulls out of here way better than the 355. Oh, that should, shouldn't really surprise you because it's going to give power to both wheels a little bit more evenly. And we'll just leave that one there for now. Okay, what's next? Blue. Blue is our limited slip 41010. We will, uh, or 41010. Uh, 41010. Um, we'll see what this does. Uh, I would think this will do even better in the sand because it will eliminate some of the tire spin. Um, we'll see what it does in the mud here. Try to even out the tire spin. Yeah, it's. I don't have as much full travel speed, but it's more controlled. And it made it through here very, very well. See, it won't. It shouldn't drift as much because it's going to try to eliminate tires spinning a whole bunch. Just down a little bit here, coming at about 30 again. And okay. Oh yeah, oh this thing just picks up speed. Can I shift? Uh, not really. So that one was close to the red one, probably a little bit better. Um, it seemed to pick up speed a little bit faster. Uh, which again, doesn't really surprise me. But... Wow, that was pretty nicely done. Okay, black truck is the open 410 diff. We will see what see what this is like. Just the different gear ratio should make a bit of a difference than the open 355. But I don't know how much I might notice it. Uh, yeah. 